Hey everyone, we're here today to look at the Chevy Traverse 2021. And this one is an LT model, so about middle high of the range in about $43,000. Um, we've looked at a few models lately and they're brand new, new style vehicles. And the Chevy Traverse has been around for a while and it's a really good standard SUV that people love for a lot of reasons. So come check it out with us. I really like the look of the Traverse. It's a little bit bigger than a couple of the ones we've looked at. Um, but I also really like the back end. It's got that boxy feel. A while back it had a rounded shape and honestly wasn't really a fan, probably because it gave me minivan vibes. Um, but I really like the back square and the lifted front and everything. I think it makes it look nice and sleek um, on the sides. I always get really excited about how much space is in the back for things and also how the third row operates. So I wanted to check this out because it's been honestly a long time since I've been in a Chevy Traverse. As Jamie mentioned, they've been around for a lot longer as far as a third row SUV goes. So, okay. So this is the rear storage area. But what's really cool about this is that you are able to store things under here as well. So you're gonna have your spare tire underneath there. And a lot of times when you lift this up, that's where people's spare tires sit, but this one does not. It allows you to store some things. And what's cool about it being all plastic is that if you have dirty things, so if your kids got money, you've got sports stuff, yeah, you had a totally. rainy soccer game, something like that, you can throw things back here and then it doesn't ruin the carpet, it doesn't ruin the back of the vehicle. And then you can store that underneath there and then put whatever else you want up here. But then you can always just wipe it down easily and clean it up um, at a later point. Yeah, so. and it's easily removable. You just twist those things and take it out. If for some reason it got really bad and you wanted to hose it off or Good point. it's yeah. just plastic. So super, super easy to clean it up. Yep. Um, and then the other thing is third row. I'm always curious to see how easily the, the third row goes down, how easy it is to get it up. Um, and so it looks like pretty simple. You just pull the cord automatically. The headrest drops so that it's able to fit and then it just goes straight down. Same with this one. And then you can see on these, I'll pull this back up. Let's see how easy it is. Not bad. Um, you can tether three car seats in the back row. So you can clip in two in the captains and then three in the back row. So technically again, you could fit five car seats inside of a Traverse. And you know what I see, although it's not a part of this, is USB oh, in yes. the back. Yes. <laughs> okay. Good job, actually, Chevy. Right. Chevy, this Traverse was actually, and who knows who started it. Yeah. But the Traverse was the first time that I saw USBs in the third row, and I thought that was genius. Yep. Um, super convenient. I was actually charging my phone while sitting in the third row, and I was like, this is the best. So we are in the back, actually middle row, I suppose. Middle row, um, yeah. Couple things. There are two USBs here. So for each person riding in this row, also you can see I have this seat scooted all the way back. So you can see how much distance you have here from oh, yeah. the driver's seat. So if you did have a car seat in here, kids, it'd be a lot harder to reach. So it's nice, good space. And then I've got this pushed up. I'm just curious if I go all the way. So still, as a full grown adult have plenty of space when I have to scoot it so far front that somebody can sit back behind here. Yeah. So that's tons of space. I'm just curious. Oh my gosh. Lots yeah, of space. Tons of space. I bet I have six or seven inches between my knees. Really? And, what yeah. about me? Like move back a little bit. Let's see what happens. Or even honestly, here. this is like really comfortable for me right here. How is it for you? Oh yeah. Really? Yeah. So a couple inches. That's wow. honestly deceiving because I think when you look back there. It doesn't there, look as big when you look at it. Correct. My angle is like, oh, I don't think I do well back there, but no, I'm totally comfortable here. Yep. You are back there. That's awesome. Plenty of space. Yeah. They also have lights. I like the dual fan. So like I can choose to have it blowing on me where she doesn't. Mm -hmm. um, and I can control it back here as well, which is nice um, for that piece too. So, oh, and is that an actual plug, like an actual electrical outlet? Yeah. Yes. Oh, nice. those are nice. Yeah. The actual electrical outlet's always a bonus for sure. Perfect. And then you can see here, they do have the car seat hooks right here and on the back. And then, um, there's anchors on the back. And in the third row, I know Lindsay pointed out the three anchors in the back. I'm guessing you could not do three across back there, but you could at least do a total of four car seats in here. Um, I don't know about that. There's really? a really, really, really narrow car seat that is out there that can fit into these third row if you do need to have. Really? Yes. Yes. Wow. I, I just found that. out about it. A little too late, but I just <laughs> found out about it. <laughs> is it the dyno? Is that what it's called? Is I... that what Patrick was talking yes, about? Yes. 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 Okay. <clears throat> That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. So depending on car seat configuration, we're not going <laughs> to promise it, but it sounds like 
maybe even five possible. Well, you have five hookup possibilities at least. So that's exciting. Awesome. So we're going to take a look at the inside of the vehicle. Super slick touch screen, everything here. They have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which I love because you can hear all your text messages, um, call everything through voice connect and everything as well as Bluetooth. So either way you can do that. Um, one fun little compartment is this little part compartment here. It opens up, you can throw your sunglasses in there or whatever else you might like in there to put it down, maybe snacks to hide from your kids. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and then a Wi-Fi hotspot. So every new Chevrolet comes with three months um, Wi-Fi hotspot or a certain amount of gigabytes um, that you can utilize through that. And then you can pay to re-up it if you would like, which is nice if you have a bunch of iPad streaming and all that good stuff. One of my absolute favorite features on this car that I just highlighted a little bit ago is the bird's eye view and rear camera. I love it. I didn't think I would need it, but I'm obsessed with it. And the awesome thing about it too is, is you can change the views that you want to look at. So I want to look at it a little bit from a fishbowl. I want to see myself where I am right there, depending on the issues that you have. Oh, look at that. It kind of freaks me out a little bit, but I like it. <laughs> <clears throat> Or you can look at different ways on like what's on my left versus what's on my right. Right now it shows black because the door is open. Um, things like that. And then you can look at all the different options that you want there and it'll have the safety feature. So when you're backing up, if a car is coming, it'll go beep, beep, beep. There's an arrow. It's coming this way. Mm -hmm. And I love that I, I just maneuvered myself out of some pretty sticky situations and it's all because of this. Well, it's super helpful too, because if you're parked in a parking lot and you have a vehicle next to you, that's even longer, if you're parked next mm -hmm. to a truck or you're parked next to like a suburban sized vehicle, you often can't see if somebody, you got to back out to be able to know even if somebody's coming or what's behind you. And this helps you and alerts you before you even start backing out. So it can sense and know, okay, somebody's coming and is your eyes and ears for you, which is, yeah, saved me a handful of times. So much. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. And then um, heated seats down here. You can get uh, cooled if it, I mean, go up a trim package as well. And just nice, like, one bummer is that although there's two USB cords and an AUX, is unless you're on the Premier or High Country, which are the highest two levels, there is no wireless charging station, which is a new fan favorite of mine. So that's a little <laughs> bit of a, it's a little bit of a bummer because I don't have cords with me all the time but um, still a lot of options on charging. Right. Still. And it's still, yeah, still, like you said, still available on a different trim level. Yes. So, yeah. Some people love this feature. I'm still, I would say getting <laughs> used to it. Me too. Um, but I'm just old school. I think with, with having just a normal mirror, but you have your backup camera in your rear view mirror. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot clearer. It's a lot more crisp. Um, it's better depth perception than probably okay. just your own. Oh, there's somebody walking behind us right now. So, the cool thing about what Chevy did was, is they just give you the option. So you can still use your old school mirror if you want to. And then over time, as you get maybe more used to actually trusting that camera. But I was that way with backup cameras. I never trusted backup cameras yes. for a while. I always still looked back over my shoulder and my husband would be like, you know that you can see that right here. This might go in the category of things a man invented uh, <laughs> because <laughs> as a mom, I'm always looking in my car seats looking, looking, looking. And so I would never have this feature on. However, I was proven wrong a little while ago when we did pack the car with a bunch of stuff like you did with your expedition. Yeah. You can't see out the window. When you have a lot of kids and a lot of stuff, you're traveling. This is so nice on road trips Good point. to be able to go, is there anything behind me? Because I can't see anything. So that's true. But on a day to day, I'm always looking at my kids in the car seats. And I think that's probably one of the reasons we, we aren't getting used to the right. switching back and Which forth. is slick that you get the option. Yeah. If it was a hundred percent one way, I'd be out. But since you can choose the options, it's super cool. So I just found out about this feature. And again, I think I say this with every feature. I realize <laughs> that it might be my new favorite feature. It's the little things guys. You pop it in reverse and then you push forward. You hear that noise? Look, it's washing the camera. I don't know how many times I always think to myself, oh, I got to wash that thing off or, oh, I got to rub it off with my thumb. I always have to go up and rub it off with my thumb. Mm -hmm. In the winter, in the, in the snow, winter, everything, everything yeah. builds up. The fact that you can just go, oh, I can't see that. Boop. Oh, I'm obsessed. <laughs> I'm obsessed. It's the best thing ever. Oh my God. Thank you so much for checking out the 2021 Chevy Traverse with Jamie and I. Yeah. We hope we went over some good information for you. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know. We would love to 